left in one minute. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for your stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Natalia, yeah. I like to, to think uh, once more from my side, because yeah. in fact, so I know he's very, very busy, and I'm happy he found this time uh, to, to give uh, this talk. So I'm very, very pleased about this. Thank you. Uh, and thank you that you uh, give me idea to invite him and that you make us know each other. Thank you. It was a good help. Thank you. Well, that's time to start. You may start talking. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you everyone. It's, it's really my honor to give us such lecture here and uh, in this way. Uh, tonight, or this afternoon, I would like to uh, give a lecture about the introduction of mainly my study, the study of me and my working group about the demonium polyboting and the stratigraphy of uh, Weiss the Dringer, Xinjiang. And here, these names actually are uh, my team, my current team, uh, Wang Yi, uh, he, he's uh, my PhD supervisor. But, uh, I, I've been graduated for years and uh, this is me, Hong He. It's, it's not easy to read that, Hong He, Xu is a surname. Okay, I'm from Nanjing Institute of Geology and Paleontology, uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences. <clears throat> These logos are our institute and uh, our state key laboratory. This is my email. If anyone need uh, any further information, please just let me know. And these two actually are two uh, databases, my working. So I'm also in charge of these databases. So I hope in the future, I will give you some brief introduction. This is the title and author. Uh, next one. Okay, if you visit us, you will see our gate. It's a the gate is a, actually quite small. You know, we are we are actually a very small and old institute. It uh, actually was start from nineteen twenties. And uh, if you visit this one, this is the the gate. And look at this. This is a uh, there's a label and marking our, the name of our institute. Look at here. Here's uh, Nanjing Institute of Geology and Paleontology, but here's the latest, not the not current name. But the, another funny thing is, is uh, this plate actually was made of uh, Precambrian uh, stromatolite. It's real fossil. So my institute and uh, my colleagues actually are working on mainly on you know, uh, evolution, uh, geobiodiversity, and uh, some natural resources related study, and of course, some uh, stratigraphy. And uh, we al also work on some geopark and uh, some scientific communication to the public. So these are our main job and our duty, our social duty. So here, I'm here, just welcome all of you to visit us and visit our institute. We, I can, I also hope in the future we can co-work together. I think this, today, uh, this night lecture would be a very good start. Something wrong with this. Okay. So just now it was my institute, but this slide is for it's just to show you my job and my working. Uh, so uh, these years I've been I've been working on uh, these plant fossil compression fossils. These are uh, the, this one was preserved in sandstone or some other ones in milestone. And I also work on some silicified material. This is silicified wood from the. Uh, Upper Devonian of West Dringer, Xinjiang. Later, I will show you more information about this one. 
I also do some work about palynology. And uh, here, this one is a uh, cryptospore from Cambrian. And this one is a uh, trillid spore from Devonian. So all these are working by me and my working group. I'm also work in charge of a database. This one, is, uh, this one was registered to our institute and also is, uh, is owned by the CAS, by the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It's, it's called Geobiodiversity Database. So I'm in charge of this. Sometimes I'm, I, I use this data to do some analyzing and try to do some data mining or data analyze thing and and uh, get some publication using this way. Both uh, plant fossils, uh, spores, and some and the data. So Devonian thing and Devonian plants, Devonian fossil record are very important. I think most of us uh, are quite familiar with this, these things. We see the life picture. We see that they, from the even earlier, even uh, for example, Cambrian, from Cambrian on mission to through Silurian to the Devonian, we see that the plants uh, landing uh, started landing. Plants, the first land plant may occur at the uh, middle of the region, just showing here this this line. And since the end of the elevation, the size of these plants are getting larger or getting bigger and bigger. And to the to the mid Devonian, we see the first forest. So this these changes were just first time in our Earth's history. So the Devonian thing is basically this sequence. I mean, the, from from the elevation through Silurian to Devonian is very important. Because this sequence witnessed this great change occurring on our Earth. <clears throat> and uh, this deeply changed our all things. Uh, for, for example, some uh, land, sea, uh, geography, and the power environment and things. Uh, no matter, uh, not, not only something important occurring on land. Something, some animal, for example, some fish, some tetrapods are also landing in the Devonian. So this period, this our working period, Devonian is very important to both the organism on land and things in marine or in water, inside the water. But the, these ones, these figures are in another view showing the significance of uh, uh, this my uh, the from the Silurian to Devonian, what happened? So we we see that in the middle Devonian, if if we can get a profile of uh, Devonian land, we will see this the lowermost figure, this one. We we see uh, it seems that there's nothing on land. We know the plant in middle middle Devonian. Actually, it's quite small size. Maybe some just bright, uh, bryophyte and some they were very small, maybe just one or two centimeters. But till the early Devonian, we see the size of these plants get bigger. And uh, these are very uh, characteristic plants like this. Here, we, we, we see some uh, diagrams, for example, some small. Uh, those terophile and lycopsid and uh, other things as unknown or just some plant fragments. But to the middle and the late Devonian, we see the real tree. And this plant has a very strong root and very strong root system. You know, if plants or if organism on land has a so strong root and so strong size, so it will, uh, they will get a further result of weathering. So we, we can uh, summarize this important period that during this time from Silurian to Devonian, uh, there occurred great 
ecology call changes. And uh, it also witnessed uh, increasing weathering. And of course, CO2 were decreasing uh, greatly. So this, this can be the uh, known background of our study. And this one, this slide is from another view showing the significance of the Devonian fossil record. Uh, let's talk about the first figure. We, we see that in the Devonian pair, this, uh, this bar shows the period of Devonian. We see that in the Devonian, there, there were a lot of uh, record, fossil record of different plant groups. We can say that except the flowering plant means uh, uh, androsperm, all plant group except androsperm were occurred in Devonian deposit. So Devonian, in this view, in uh, plant diversity, it's very important. We see that, but very important, uh, very abandoned, very dominant ones are like seed and uh, some some special plants like uh, losterophile and uh, geniophyte and uh, some progenosperms here. And uh, also the first seed plants were from Devonian as well. So, so all kinds of a plant group were first start, were first originated from the Devonian. And these were proved by Devonian fossil record from all around the world. This is this one. And we also we also know uh, should know that uh, in the Devonian so these plant group are quite extinct. So they only occur in the Devonian. I mean, after the Devonian, most of these group just extinct, extinct. So it's very special period, a very special time. Uh, and uh, this also suggests uh, indicates that. Our study, I mean, the study on Devonian plant groups are quite difficult because uh, there's no counterparts, uh, especially in extant plant groups. This one, the uh, the right one, the right figure showing the another uh, evolution innovation occurring in the Devonian. We see that we we, we just mentioned that the first tree, the first forest occurred in the middle to late Devonian. But we, we can, uh, these were proved by the fossil record of these tree-like habits and tree-like or tree-sized fossils. For example, here, three kinds of groups uh, uh, occurred or involved uh, tree-like habit or arborescent habit. Here, uh, like tree-like lycopsid here, we can also find these examples from Xinjiang from our collection. And of course, Cloud of Lalofsi, this one. And uh, it has tree-like habit from the middle Devonian. It's very important. And uh, other thing, uh, Lagnophile, this is another name. This is uh, the group covering progeminosperm and some and uh, flowering plants. Uh, it's char characterized by beneficial cambium. So just uh, but these darker bars showing the some plant group having tree-like habit. So three, one, two, three. They, they, are, they, they are the first one involving tree-like habit. So uh, uh, we're lucky that all these groups can uh, they, they have fossil record in our uh, Xinjiang deposit. Uh, yeah, yeah. The central one, the, the fern sensulato or some, some fer, early fern or other ones uh, call them like fern-like plants. But anyway, it's uh, just uh, some with very special anatomy. I will show you later. But like of this is, always, uh, is also important. Sorry, go this one. Oh, th this figure is a geographic map showing the my working area and my uh, my united place here. This star is is me. Currently, I'm here, and my institute is here, Nanjing. 
And this is Shanghai and Beijing here in China and uh, Russia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan. And our working area, all material actually were collected from here. This province is called Xinjiang. It's, uh, this position is above the center of the whole Asia. Okay, so it's very interesting and very, uh, uh, very far from the ocean. So, but you, you are, yeah. You're quite far, yeah, here or somewhere. Okay, let's get a close up of our working area. Uh, this one is not geography, it's, uh, it's uh, from the Google map. And uh, we, we see here the, the boundary, the national boundary actually is here. Uh, China here, Mongolia and here, it's the top is uh, Russia, yeah, here, Kazakhstan. And uh, the central one is the Drungar Basin. Actually, it's Drungar Gobi or Desert, Drungar here. And uh, mainly our fossils were collected here. We call it Weiss the Drungar. It's just in the western part of the Drungar Basin. And uh, we sometimes we also mention East Drungar here. Some fossil we collected here, but why is the drinker and is the drinker actually uh, they belong to different paleo blocks here? If we can see the Devonian paleo uh, geography map, we see this. I think everyone got similar with this map. This is uh, the middle Devonian uh, paleo geography map. This this is Siberia paleo block and uh, uh, Euro America and this Kazakhstan. Why is the drinker actually here? And East Drinker here. So why is the drinker is merging into uh, Kazakhstan paleo play, paleo block, and East Drinker is, uh, is merging to Siberia. So they, they are different. And here, the, these islands, these isolated islands actually from, uh, they belong to North China paleo block. Okay, this is back to Guam. And the South China is here. This is South China. And uh, South American about here. So these, these are quite related. And uh, we, we did some comparison with uh, when, when we study paleobotany. And of course, the paleogeography is the, one of the central uh, working themes of uh, our study and uh, our central scientific questions. Oh, you know, say, just thinking, considering about the uh, special position of our working area here, they are quite close to Kazakhstan and uh, Siberia. So when we uh, do study about the fossil plants and the sedimentary deposits and uh, uh, street graphic, we have to make comparison with uh, with material from Russia and uh, Kazakhstan. That's why we have to use these bo these books. Uh, actually, I, when I did my PhD dissertation and uh, my uh, my work, my part of botany works in uh, of Xinjiang, I checked these references. These were written in Russian. I I don't know Russian. I don't know much. And uh, I, I took it took uh, took me much time about do translating of these books. So these are quite famous, quite classic, and uh, there are lots of uh, informative figures, informative uh, fossil locality information in these books. For example, this one, Eugenia, uh, some devoted flora from Kazakhstan or, or something. This, this uh, I don't know. And th this is uh, from Dunbas. I, I, uh, these uh, the citation of these books actually were in uh, some of my papers. So, yeah, I remember them, and I took photos this afternoon. So I, I think you must be interested. I hope in the future I, I we we can share these references. Okay, let let's go to the uh. Street graphic work. 
So uh, about the wise drinker, we, we see the uh, stratigraphic sequence mainly like this one. Th this is a geographic chart of Devonian part and from the Predolian to Devonian. We, we, we know this, lower, middle, and upper. But in wise drinker, we can recognize these formations, these horizons. From the lowermost, it's a uh, Silurian, Predoli. Uh, and uh, Rechenberg has recognized some, the boundary of Silurian and the Div Divonian in, inside the Utu Black Formation. Here, this is the uh, outer cup of the Utu Black Formation. And uh, it, it's uh, the age of this one. Is predolly, I mean, the, the utmost of the Silurian. So we found some, we collected some Ablimian, <coughs> Ablimian, <coughs> sorry, Ablimian plant falls over here. Look at this. These, the top ones, the uh, apex, the sporing room here, it's a, uh, Term, with terminal sporangium, it's a very tiny, and no leaves. This is a very typical of uh, celery and the lower devonian plants. And this is a uh, wood to black material. And these two formations, uh, we can ignore them for the uh, deposits of these mankalu and manga were mainly uh, marine here. Yeah, like this, these rocks were from these, uh, horizon. So let's just focus the uh, above three horizons, who just Julumut uh, and Hungulalang. Uh, That's a uh, center of uh, today's talk. Okay, let's show you uh, uh, some group, uh, some field photo of uh, our Xinjiang work. This is uh, one time we were camping in, in Xinjiang. And you know nobody lives there, so the uh, the condition very hard, and we have to camp in the field. After the field work, after Jolor goes away, we get back. So it's very uh, interesting memory, and uh, I I think it's a it's it's really worth it. You know, I'm mean, as a as a geologist, it's a quite proud. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's go to the first one, Hujerst. So the age of the Hujerst is about the middle Devonian, uh, mainly from the Ephelian to Jewishian. Uh, probably it's uh, just past the boundary of uh, middle and upper Devonian. So these uh, sections, the section photos are at the right here. Here we, we see that the Hujerst formation is totally terrestrial. Uh, it, it, it's uh, it, it consisted of uh, mudstone, sandstone, and uh, siltstone with obvious coal seams here. These dark layers are coal seams. But the coal seams are not quite thick. It's a maximum about the one meter size, one meter thick. So it's uh, not in a large scale, but uh, quite typical. That's a first occurrence of a coal. It, uh, not a very good coal, but it's coal. Uh, that also indicates that it, at that time, the plants must be, uh, the, there must be lots of, lots of plants. Here, that's uh, another photo showing the upper member of the Hujerst formation. We see very typical coal seams here. And we collected plant fossils from these layers, these very fine sandstone here, here, layer, this layer. These darker ones actually are coal seams. And we, we do some uh, palynology to, the, to these coals. And uh, they, this is one of our best section of uh, which is the formation. It, we call it two, two, five, one hill section. We, uh, we did some 
we, we, we collected some uh, typical circles from this sandstone here, here. And uh, we, we, we do some uh, U lead, uh, U, U lead age dating, uh, dating with uh, ICP mass. So the dating shows two results here. The so one result here is about 385 million years here. And there's another one is uh, 380 about here. So if we compare with this chart, this geologic age chart, we, we can get the conclusion that the uh, probable boundary of uh, middle to upper Devonia is about here, this line. I was standing here because this this figure showing the sampling positions of, from this section and this this one this figure shows the uh, digital zircons uh, we collected from this section. But this is on, this only gives the result of using uh, digital zircon based on Tafusa's um, sandstone samples from here. But we, we also note that this result, result is quite different from previous palynology palynology study and the polybotany study. Uh, look at this. That's always a plus and or minus value. So this value it's it's quite close. It's not gives a very detailed value of this boundary. So here just we we, we call it the possible boundary of uh, middle to upper. So there's no definitely, uh, it, it's not definite result, it's just a possible result. So as a, as a palybotanist, uh, we prefer results from uh, fossils itself. So here, this is a dating result based on our paleontology study, also from this uh, this section. Yeah, from this section, we see the uh, continuous or sequentially changing from here, from this portion to this portion. It seems as a circle. So we can conclude that it represents some terrestrial, uh, probably represents some part of uh, result of, uh, deposit result of food plan. And we see some conglomerate here. And we also see, the, look at these, these uh, very big, large-sized plants, and some, are, some of them are lycopsy here, and uh, here, these, these places. And we, we did some paleontology study from here, and the different section, 251 hill, this is our, this section. And these spores showing the result of the uh, the age of uh, here, just middle devonian, late middle devonian. So there's no, there's no, no showing the, uh, they just cross the boundary of middle and uh, late devonian. So it's very interesting. And from other section like uh, here, Ganaren, uh, the age is, uh, they, they got younger spore record. And from other section, we, we also, we, we also have samples from the uh, older fossil record. So we can conclude that the age of the Hujas formation is just middle Devonian. Yeah, ranging from the Eflian to Jivenshin. Yeah, that's uh, our current view. These results were published in 2014 or sometimes. Yeah, so they, from this section, they, Dominant spore is a simple sporites, uh, meaning that the uh, dominant plant of this flower must be some lycopsy. Here, I'd like to show you some case study or some uh, detailed study of uh, plants from who just the flower or from these sections. So we can it can summarize that this flower we call it who just flora. Uh, middle Devonian is a light of the dominant flora. The, these photo, uh, these figures were, you know, all of these were published, and uh, 
plant fossils are very good, very well preserved, and they are abandoned. If you if you can uh, check this collection. Uh, okay, uh, th these these are like uh, the upper figures are lycopsid, and uh, th this one's the progenitor sperm. This one the fern like, and uh, this is a uh, those terophile. And here, uh, next one, let me show you. Show these in, in detail. Here, this is a herbaceous lycopsid. It's called Huskinsia. There, there were at least two species of this genus, Huskinsia. It's a uh, very interesting. It's a characterized. Look at this one. The, the stem of this lycopsis is very tiny. It's ab about only one centimeter wide. So here. And the interesting thing is about the leaf of this plant. It's a, uh, look at this, it's a arrowhead shaped. So if you collect photo, if you do some field work in, in, your, in your place, you, you, if you see this photo, you, you will not miss that. Sorry. Yeah, uh, this species is called Huskinsia salitata. This, uh, this word means, uh, Arrowhead, um, sh uh, inferring the arrowhead shape of this leaf of this plant, and uh, the right figure showing the one of the species of those terophyte. Look at this one. Look at the stem here. The the small tape or small tiny thing actually were emergencies on the stem. It's it's not. Around the whole stem, it's just the two sides of the uh, of the stem, and here kidney-like shape. It actually it represents the spongium of this plant. It's it um in the classification it belongs to those terophile. There's no uh leaf, no leaf. The, these were ornaments of the stem. It's just two sides. Uh, we call it cellular colis. It means uh, like a like a saw. And uh, th this slide shows a another uh, plant. It's uh, in classification. It's it's uh, it belongs to it belongs to uh, free lycopsy. Look at the special leaf. Leaf is uh, it's always curved, and th this structure. The sporangia here, here, sporangium, sporangium, and sporangium. And also with root. And the whole stem is uh, also K shaped, K shaped branching. And the lowermost or the downward one represents a root. Look at the size. This one is uh, obviously smaller than other branches. Here we see, we see some small scars. These were leaf scars. They are not regular, so the leaves of these plants are sparsely arranged. It, it's not like a uh, lycopsid. You know, we, we know that lycopsid has uh, densely arranged leaves. It's called Trypanophycus. It's uh, when it was published, I remember that it uh, it's uh, some kind of it's uh, some kind of new species. Yeah, and. Uh, other classical work is uh, from the uh, Lycopsia. This is interesting. This is one of my favorite work. Uh, for a long time, uh, Proto Lycopsidendron, this one, this genus, Proto Lycopsidendron, was widely reported from the middle to uh, uh, early to middle Devonian deposit all around the world. So it's uh, characterized by the bifurcate leaf here, like this one, like this one. Proto, it's called proto lactodendron. But after severe study, uh, also found that this is wrong uh, because uh, this leaf, the two uh, bifurcate leaf, never exist. It's uh, if we do further preparation of this one. Uh, this is not the two, they are two specimens. This is a uh, reverse side of this specimen. This is a uh, 
the life most specimen was described in 1960 by by by, by one of the Chinese paleobotanists. And uh, I, I did the further study to this specimen. I just, uh, uh, on the reverse side of this specimen, I found this one. I found this stem. They, they are the same. But without, before preparation, we see some bifurcate leaf like this, like this. But after carefully, after careful preparation, we got this. This is a result of severe preparation. Uh, just just uh, using a needle and uh, do some digging under a microscope. You see, it, it has very complex leaf shape. Its leaf, you know, its leaf has uh, at least five segments or five lobes like this one. We call it A, B, C, D, and the bigger E, uh, capital E here. So this one, at least from Xinjiang was transferred to like like here, uh, confer complexa called just just one specimen, and uh, very interesting work. So as a result, we we see some uh, we, we we know that there's also reports of uh, proto lepidon dendroid from Kazakhstan and the Siberia. I'm hoping we can check exam or someday we can exam the specimen and do some fuser work or similar work, I believe we can, we can get some very interesting result because this is a, this is a unprepared specimen, what they look like this. It's just a very simple bifuel case. But remember, this is, a, uh, this is not real, not true, and not represent the real morphology of this plant. Uh, duplicate slide, sorry, next one. Another work, uh, just now we report a, this one, like look here, uh, CF complexa, that's a type species of this genus. But from Xinjiang, from West Stringer, Xinjiang, Middle Tibonia, who just, uh, uh, we also found another species of uh, like look here. It's, much smaller. Look at the scale by this is uh this is 10 millimeter, but the the size of this one, uh this stem, leafy stem is only half centimeter, so very tiny. And uh, there's lots of uh, lots of uh, uh they 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 got the parallel arranged in one uh, in in one rock here, like this one. And this one, so we can think that they must get us, uh, like a, like a, they live together and uh, like some small herbs, and we also do some initiative spool from, look at this one from this sponge, and lots of initiative spools were collected, were observed obtained from here, and we do S E M this, and so all these information. And uh, uh, of course, uh, yeah, another thing. We, we did careful preparation to the leaf shape of the this plant here, here. And we found that this leaf has at least seven segments, the central one. The interesting thing is at the end of this central segment, there's a hook here, like this one. So it's a new species. It's a quite different from the type species complexa. So we erect a new species uh, named like this, like, like here, Ancinata. This means a hook, means uh, there's a hook. And in the paper, uh, thinking that the, uh, in this specimen, we see that this like, like here, they always prepared they always preserved with another plant. It's called complexa here, like this one. And uh, then we discussed that the, this hook or this structure may have some uh, real function, like the some kinds of climbing. So we propose that the, this species pr pr um, probably rep represents the first climber in the very complex uh, ecosystem here. 
So this study was uh, the cover study of this journal, IGPS. So uh, interesting. And uh, they, these work, these specimens also showing that uh, the system, uh, the ecology of the Hooges of Florida is quite complex with also with big one, a small one, and some climbing one. And uh, another work about Lecler Kia is uh, I also use uh, global coverage data of uh, Lecler Kia and uh, its in situ spores. These severe figure diagram on the uh, I, I just plot these uh, current, current data on the paleogeographic maps from the early Devonian to late Devonian. We see that it seems that the, this plant, this, uh, this genus, is widely distributed. It's nearly cosmopolitan. And from the early Devonian to the middle Devonian, it just, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it seems that it's a uh, dispersal from the Euro American to all around the world, all around the uh, Middle Devonian world. So it's a, uh, this is one of the case study using global data, global occurrence data of uh, like Likia, both macro, macro plan and uh, incentive spools. Yeah, now let's go to the largest one of the Gujarat uh, flora. Here's a, um, this, this is the largest one, largest lycopsis from the Gujarat flora. It, it's called Hostologaya. This is from the, uh, the town, the name of the town we, we live there. It's, it's uh, reconstructed like a tree, like almost borers like opposite. Look at these, Borangia. Yes, it's very big. Yeah, these individual sporangiums are quite large here, and these sporophile, and the uh, right one is reconstruction of this plant. The, the, the widest size, the, wide, the, the largest stem of this plant is about, uh, I remember it's about 12 centimeters, so it's, it's quite large. And uh, we also reconstruct that the height of this plant may reach to four meters. So we can call that it's a regional forest, and this is the highest one. And we, we only found some uh, small spores from these sporangia. So we, we say that it's a uh, humospores like obsi. We, we got lots of these specimens from the uh, 251 hill section. They were preserved together with some herbaceous lycopsy. Uh, besides lycopsy, we also found some fossil record of fertile uh, pre gemmous worm. This is one of the, their examples. Here's a neurophyton. It's a, uh, also from the uh, 251 hill section. A neurophyton, is a, it has a tetra-sized branching here. It's a, it's a, the vertical two branches is very complex and it's fertile structure like this here here are close up of the, its fertile structure look at this these sporangia so very special and uh, annual phyton we, we established a new species at that time so and uh, the the fern like plant complex com <coughs> comes of cradus from also from the Hujers flower. This one is, uh, you know, this plant were preserved with Lactalakia. And uh, just, it's this one that the Lactalakia just hooked. And our small Lactalakia may climb to this bigger one. Look at this. Uh, its stem is, seems relatively bigger or larger than our Lactalakia small tree small lack of say so th these these tiny and terminal structures are sporangium of a sporangia of this plant and it has very complex branching here so we, we call it fern like plant or early fern plant or it's a different author give different names okay uh we, we just 
finish the who just the flower that that was most important part of uh most important uh, uh fossil collection from the vast drinker then go upper we we have julu muta z z formation julu muta formation this is very interesting the age of uh julu muta is about franen so, uh franen the the early late devonian and uh Interesting thing that lots of silicified material were collected from this formation. Look at this. This is a silicified wood. The, the very big silicified material. It's a, it's about 75 centimeters. I remember that. This is one of the smaller pieces of a silicified material. When we cut and using HF, after etching, we see this. The uh the black one actually represents the carbon things here, the carbon. These are collin strands, roots, collin strands, roots. They, they got a cylinder and uh, we zigzag pattern. And the white part, white things here, white one, they are silica. So it's a perfect material showing the inner structure of the tree of the, this plant. These were from Julian material. It's quite different from Hooger's too. And of course, we got the uh, isotope dating to this famous section, this famous horizon. Uh, it, because the Julian material formation actually is consisting of uh, sandstone with lots of conglomerate. And uh, we also found some digital zircon. Okay, using this digital zircon, we just dated, <clears throat> dated here. This is uh, this big pit actually is a site of uh, we collected our silicified material. And we also found some other fossils here from this locality. This is one of the section of geometric formation. Result of uh, digital zircon a digital zircon dating is here. The probable front uh, and feminine boundary is here. Uh, it's the upper. So the Julian Mutter formation, we can say that its its top may represent some part of the feminine, but it's uh, most part of the this formation actually belong to the feminine. Look at these uh, fossils from the Julian Mutter formation. Let's just focus about these fossils. This is uh, big, the, the largest trunk of the silicified material. This is the largest specimen. When it's collected, it's just this size. It's about uh, 75 centimeters wide in from here to here. And the scale about 10 or 12. <clears throat> Okay, the age, the dating result is about, it's very close to FF boundary. And other silicified material include uh, calyx xylem here, also silicified. This is a one of the thin section photo of uh, calyx xylem. And uh, the third plant is uh, the bigger one, also with, with probable uh, inner structures left of flowing. This is a typical index fossil of a global uh, upper Devonian. So it's very important and also can use as uh, one of the dating fossil, one of the dating proof of our uh, of our horizon. So considering these plants, we found that they have some similarity with uh, some flora from Laurentia. Especially in in the in terms of uh, paleoecology, I mean, uh, we we can see typical tree like thing. Oh, this it, it's typical tree, and uh, yeah, in this view, and the, this this belong to cloudal xylophyte. It's uh, the first the tree tree like hybrid were from middle Devonian, but in upper Devonian in our. It, locality it, it has it's it gets bigger much bigger than than the one than its counterpart in made Devonian from New York State 
So we, we did uh, we did these comparison with Laurentia. Okay, let's go to the upmost horizon. It's called Hong Wu Le Leng. This is uh, ongoing work. It's a, uh, I remember that last summer, uh, last uh, September, we, we did field work here. Th these this sequence, sequence represents the upper part of the Hongu Le Leng formation. And uh, we, we uh, obtain spores from this sequence. And using these spores, we dated this Hongu Le Leng formation, especially as fossil bearing beds. Uh, dating result is uh, feminine. So it's upmost horizon of the Devonian sequence of Devonian deposits. And uh, yeah, another another figure showing the position of the uh, up Devonian sequence on Gula. We collected the plant fossils here, this this by this by, and the the white line showing the probable boundary of Devonian carboniferous. But here we have only the evidence from our spores. Uh, we did not do uh, isotope um, because we we don't we, we didn't find any very uh, any good samples showing uh, digital zircon or sandstone something. We we only do the uh, we we get the stating result based on our fossil record and uh, regional correlation. Here, th these columns showing the our collecting <clears throat> also um, big, uh, big plants and uh, some paleontology works from two sections. And uh, these figures showing the uh, micro plants from the Hongkula Leng formation. The interesting one, the first one is, uh, it's, it's also one of the herbaceous lycopsid. It's called Fragulia. Uh, before our work, this plant, look at the leaf, it's very special, it's very unique. You, you can never miss that if you found this in the field. It, it has at least seven small tapes or seven small segments. It's very unique. So previously, this plant was only reported from South America, from the lowermost carboniferous. But in our record, in our locality, we found that in the uh, in the Hongkulalan formations, very close to the DCB, uh, Devonian Carboniferous boundary. And another thing, other plants include this one is interesting, Helicophyton, with very complex, is alternate branching here with a typical trunk and uh, some alternate or helical. Highly call it arranged branching, subordinary branching, and the tiny <clears throat> terminal branches and the some terminal sporangia. Very special. Previously, this genus, Halicophyton, was rep also reported from the uh, lower lowermost carboniferous of South China. So very interesting. And this one uh, from the these from the section of the yeah from this section these sections uh west young Zhuang and the uh, hong kulang formation we found also astrologia this is a tree like like of say as i mentioned just now it was firstly reported from the middle devonia of uh Hustologai. it's uh quite big and look at the leaf the leaf is uh quite long and we call it tree like like of seed. And of course, we we have this lack of um, left of flowing. It's uh, globally distributed. So by far, we have only these plants from the Hongu Lelan formation. And these plants, uh, if we check the global data of occurrences of these plants, we, we, we know that these, these were both endemic and cosmopolitan. So we are still working on these. So hopefully that's got more, uh, more promising results. 
Okay, let's let's get uh, let's get some summarized of say three flowers of uh, Devonian sequence of vice the drinker. We we uh, we got lots of lots of uh, abandoned, a uh, lot lots of lots of well preserved fossils from the Hujiaster formation. The age of the Hujiaster is ranged from the Middle Devonian, especially Jimishan to the early Frenet, so like this. Using this part, we present the flora of the Hujiaster flora. And to the Frenet or near the FFB, near, near the middle part of the late Devonian, we have uh, the Julumata flora. It typically has a very big trunk and silicified material. And also has a uh, progenitor sperm called the calyx xylem and other plants. And uppermost, we have a Hong, uh, Hong Gu Le Le formation here. It has uh, both endemic plants and some cosmopolitan plants here, like this. It's noted that if we think about all these three flower flowers, we see typical floral turnover. Yeah, just these three flower, flowers are quite different. So there must be something shifting from this one to next one. So this is uh, one of the conclusion we get from our current study. And we just draw these results on this diagram and, uh, and uh, discuss something about the ecology and especially about the uh, floral evolution occurring in the Devonian in West Dringer. So all plants here, some of them are cosmopolitan, some of them are just only in West Dringer. All are here, all are in this figure. You see the typical turning over here. Interesting. And I, I think that's all my talk. <laughs> Thank you. It was extremely interesting trip to the Devonian. I have enjoyed it very much. And now we all can um, ask questions to our speaker. If you would like to ask something, just switch on your camera, your phone. Uh, John, I see you raise your hand, but I do not see you. And Please switch on your phone. Hello, that was uh, yeah. very interesting. Thank you. Um, do you think the accuracy of the zircon dates is good enough to place those boundaries? You, you, you just finished your question? Yes. Okay, yeah, I, uh, you know, I'm a. It's very good, nice to meet you here, John. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, you know, we we are most of us are paleobotan and uh, paleontologists. We 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 prefer evidence of uh, fossils. Mm. Yeah, and uh, actually, digital zircons were from the coast sandstone. So I, I don't think they got quite uh, accurate conclusion about dating, but it, it's only as a kind of uh, reference, I think. Yes, yeah. They're detrital zircons, so. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I see uh, a question in the chat. Would you look in it? And I'll read. As basal plant groups may have cuticles, do some taxa have cuticle remains or something like that? That's a yeah, that's a good question. We we found some cuticle here from this one. That's a that's the only cuticle evidence from this sample. From this one, this is a drapanophycus. We found some uh, stomata here. We we just uh, um, but we uh. We tried to with cuticle from coal, but we failed. Uh, it seems that all things were just 
together, it's not easy to separate them uh, on the cube. But from the this micro plan photos, we if we observe these samples with SEM, we see uh, Samata. But we, we didn't get any uh, paper-like cuticle. We, we can see the uh, stomata, some structure on the cuticle, but no cuticle itself. Maybe we will try more. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I do not see other hands. Oh. I see one more question in the chat. Could you look in it? Uh, well, Xenicaulus stumps are interesting. How high could be their plants and could they form coals? I tried to study them with untreated material. Yeah, I tried. I, I, I just said. Uh, I... No, no, the previous one question. Look about the stumps. Okay. How, how, how could be? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, interesting. I, I just now I just uh, gave the introduction of the geological background of the uh, Devonian sequence of in West Dringer. You, 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 you know that the toe seams are only occur in the Hoosiers uh, formation and so uh, made Devonian. But the Shinnecol is the big city fan material. It actually, it's about the upper horizon. It, it's a geometer horizon. So from that horizon, the uh, deposits were mainly uh, uh, some sandstone and uh, conglomerate. So no coal seems there. So we can say that probably they, they, there must be the forest and they must form some coal, but no evidence, no no record of coal from the silicate uh, material bed. And uh, uh, another thing about the stem, it's uh, currently we got uh, we got only silicate material, only the trunk or, or the uh, we think that a the trunk material may represent the visual portion of the big tree, but no leaves, no sponge, no other thing, no other, no branching. So that's only this fossil. So we, we cannot answer further. Maybe more material or material in the form of uh, compression or others may answer this question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Evgenia writes, uh, thank you for the interesting talk and the answer. And let's return to the question uh, related to the cuticle. Can you try to study them with untreated material, no maceration? Mm. Uh, we, we didn't get the cuticle without maceration. But wow. uh, I, I, I can tell you that uh, uh, always, uh, I think we do some maceration to coal material. We always get some promising results of cuticle. But in Xinjiang, by far, no, just, just, just no. We, we fail to get the uh, get the cuticle. Well, Either... but why not to look just on stones with fluorescence microscopy, for example, to to check if cuticles are preserved somewhere. Yes, yes, we try, but only, only this one. Uh -huh. Yeah, only this plant. We we try use uh, embedding in reason and uh, as observation and uh, SEM and other ways. And only this one. But as I said, we we can see stomata. We can see the uh, structure of the cuticle but we cannot obtain cuticle itself. Mm. And, well, I suppose you you have answered, but I'll read anyway. <laughs> Besides of uh -huh. ACM, did you try with techniques of embedding material and resins like we do with transmission microscopy? 
you know, uh, actually, actually that work, I mean, the paleontology work from Hooger's formation John is one of the author of this work. I think he can answer that. <laughs> Yeah, John, perhaps you may answer it yourself. All <laughs> meantime, I'll read your comment. The spore colors show the thermal maturity is too high yeah. for fluorescence. Okay. That that's true. That's true. Uh we we, we tried, we, we we also tried the uh spore, try to get spore from other locality, uh West Drinker and East Drinker. So every one, every spore we got, the color are the same. It seems that it's a uh, highly uh, mat matured. It's a, I, I don't know why. Probably that must be related uh, with uh, volcano activity or with something tectonic. I don't know, but that's just the color. It, it seems as uh, it's quite uh, it's quite mat matured. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really too high. Hmm. Yeah, you you have to remember always we're in the Devonian, so we're we're a lot deeper down usually in the sections, and I think we're also on volcanic arcs, so thermal maturity is high, and heat flow's probably been high, so we get a lot of fragmentation of the cuticle, uh, things contract. Uh, we did try quite a lot of. Um, uh, coals in polished block and and what was remarkable was the lack of spores in other words we weren't seeing um spores in cut section in blocks it, so they were they were very unusual in that respect and i see one more comment uh, advice uh, from gunnar stomata are usually very difficult to get in resin embedding but you could get epidermal cell cuticles, which are much more frequent and are of great potential interest. Uh, yeah, but you know, these works were finished several years ago. I <laughs> okay, but I will try, but I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't have them now. <laughs> that, that's a good try. It's worth it. Yeah, I. Are there I any questions? I do not see. Me, 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 ah, okay, uh, Alexei, you're welcome. Uh, oh, please. Uh, could you show one of the first slides of your presentation with a uh, phylogeny of main groups of higher plants? To, to... Okay. Could you show one of the first slides? And Alexei will pose his question to this to the slide. Somewhere with phylogeny. Ph phylogeny of the main groups. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Fifth. Yeah. Fifth, yes. The, fifth one. The, the, the next one. Mm. Uh, this one. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Uh, one, uh, several of these uh, rectangles at the right part are empty. Other are colored with gray and other with black. What do these uh, colors mean? Okay. Okay, thank you. Here, gray, gray bars means uh, herbaceous. And the darker one here, black one, black parts here, here, here. Yes. This means a tree-like habit. Mm, I see. Tree. And uh, these, these are unknown. These are not related to these things. You know, this paper, actually, I, I uh, cited these figures from, from a study about the early forest, about the tree habit. So that paper, that study, uh, these Arrhenia and Cooksonia uh, are not quite related to this study. So this study is only focused about these group, lycophyte and uh, euphilophyte. Especially the gray, gray means uh, herbaceous, means a, a 
smaller size, and the darker part means the tree have it or uprising, real tree here, not tree. Yeah, we, we can just, just see. And from the, they, they have different characters like this. Look at this, this is the facial cambium. That's a main character of uh, Lagnophyte. Characterizing the uh, seed plants and the progenital sperms. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, are there more questions? Uh, yeah, this figure, the live figure is really from the Devonian times. It's a, it's a long time ago, probably a update. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but if you if you check if you search the one in times you you got you may get some related results. It's mm -hmm. just a diagram. Okay, thank you. We will <laughs> we will Google it. Well, I do not see any more rising hands. If you want to ask somebody, then uh, raise your hand or do it. Loudly. Well, it seems that we all satisfied. No more questions. Thank you, if so. Thank you for so brilliant talk. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Yeah. much. That's my I have enjoyed it. Very interesting and informative. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. And yeah, I hope let's, let's to see you all touch, okay? at our next meeting. And I see our next speaker among us now. I hope <laughs> we will also enjoy her talk, Heidi. Okay, just let me know, please. Yeah, yeah, I will send the announcement to everybody. <laughs>